Hey everyone, it's Joy here for Tailored Expressions. I am very excited to share the very beautiful Happily Ever After die and stencil. I am totally in love with this little collection. So here is the die, and you can see you've got that beautiful solid die and the intricate die. There is the stencil, then there's the mini strips wedding, and the how does your garden grow, the bits and pieces pearl drip drops, also the mini strips die. I will be using mint julep, sugar cube, sea salt, then brand new rose water and passion fruit cardstocks, along with some vellum. Then I'm using the frame in frame two die along with 3D foam squares. I will be using glitter grab and sugar cube glitter, gold embossing powder, Versamark and a palette knife, along with glue and my Misty and my die cutting machine. So here is that die and here is that beautiful brand new rose water cardstock along with some sugar cube cardstock. And I'm gonna tape these two dies in place and then run them through my die cut machine. So this first one that I'm taping down on the rose water is gonna have all of the intricate, but it's not gonna cut out the solid die like the one on the white. So I'm gonna show you how we're going to accomplish that. So I'm gonna remove that intricate part, which you could just leave that on a panel without adding this die to it to die cut it out, and that would be really quite pretty. But I'm gonna die cut this out, again, taping that in place, and then I also die cut the solid die from vellum. So we're gonna be making two cards, and we've got this first white one. I am coming in with that Happily Ever After stencil. I'm lining it up against the Happily Ever After solid die. I will use the glitter grab and the white glitter. So we're gonna make this more of a traditional white dress. I'm gonna spread that glitter grab with my palette knife. I'm just making sure I get a good coverage. I don't need it too thick, so I will scrape off the excess. And then when I peel back the stencil, we can add the glitter to it. Now it is important to, as soon as you're done with your glitter, go and wash your stencil and your palette knife immediately because you don't want it to dry. This does dry fairly quick. By the time I was ready to use this card, it was dry. So I'm just gonna put this on a piece of scratch paper. I have my reverse tweezers to hold it in place and I'm gonna sprinkle on my glitter. Now, once this is completely dry, I can dust off the glitter that's stuck to the cardstock so you have a nice, good, clean cardstock area and the glitter is just on the glitter grab. Then I die cut from the How Does Your Garden Grow with Sugar Cube cardstock and the brand new Passion Fruit. And I wanted a little pop of this purple but I didn't want it to be so much. So that's why I am adding the sugar cube flowers, the white cardstock on top of the purple cardstock. So it just kind of diffuses that color a little bit, but it is gonna give us a little bit of a pop. And I'm gluing these flowers a little offset of each other. So that way you can see the colors. Let's adhere this beautiful rose water die cut uh, dress to the vellum. So I'm just using the tiniest bit of liquid glue because I don't want it to smear on the background. And then I can just adhere that right into place. And now we've got this beautiful vellum dress. Now I'm gonna add the flowers to this. I will pop some of these up with some foam tape. This is the 3D foam squares and they have a fairly uh, low profile. And then a couple of the flowers will just be adhered directly to the dress. But isn't that so, so pretty? That little pop of passion fruit against that rose water I think is just eye catching. So let me finish gluing those next two. Then we've got this beautiful white dress. Now all the glitter is dry. I took a paintbrush and just gently brushed off in between the glitter grabbed stenciled area to get that glitter off the dress. I'm coming in with the bits and pieces pearl drip drops and some liquid glue. I'm adding a large pearl drip drop in the center and then two smaller ones on either side, just at the little waist area. And then I thought I would just follow some of the dots down the front of this dress as a guideline to add four more of these smaller uh, pearl drip drops. And I just love how simple this dress is and it just feels like a classic wedding dress. So let's just finish getting those glued down. Now I want to uh, do the sentiments and this is from the uh, mini strips wedding. So I have my piece of sugar cube cardstock. I'm going to prep that with my anti-static powder tool. I wanna do some gold heat embossing. I just thought that gold would just be classic with these cards. So I'm gonna ink that up with my Versamark ink. 
in my Misty. I did have to take out the foam insert in my Misty because these are red rubber stamps, so they are thicker. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to sprinkle on that gold embossing powder and then heat that until it's nice and melted with my heat tool. And it will be shiny if it's melted properly. Then there is the coordinating mini strips die for this that we're gonna to use to die cut out these sentiments. I'm just gonna line up those little squares on the side with the little squares that I stamped, tape that in place, and then run that through my die cut machine. Now I have the frame in frame two and I'm die cutting that from mint julep and sea salt cardstock. So this is gonna give us a nice little scalloped frame. And this also die cuts the frame and then separates that center piece. So, but we are gonna use both of those pieces for our card design. So I have my white A2 size card bases. I added some tape runner to the sea salt frame here and I'm just gonna center that. And then I'm going to center the other piece right in the middle there, it just fits right in. I will add some of those 3D foam squares to behind this dress because of course I want this to have some dimension. And I'll just center that right in the middle of that panel. And then those sentiments, I picked out two. The top one is gonna say to the Mr. and Mrs. And then the bottom one says forever and always. And those also have foam tape behind. I just feel like this has a really just nice classic look to it. And I think having that scalloped frame just really adds kind of that dainty effect to this card. Okay, for the other card, the mint julep frame will have some of those uh, 3D foam squares behind it. I want that to be popped up. And then the centerpiece will not be popped up. That will just be adhered in the background. Now for this dress, I do want this dress to be popped up with foam tape. So the trick is because there is vellum, you're gonna add the foam tape behind those flowers. So the flowers are gonna hide that really nicely. You could cut really thin pieces of foam tape to put it behind the rose water part of the dress, but I think that would be much more difficult. So I just put it behind the flowers and you can't even see it. And then I can just center that right in the middle of the mint julep cardstock. And then this sentiment says for the bride to be. I really liked this card because it felt a much more playful and you could definitely give this card at like the bridal shower and that could be just specifically for her where the other one is actually a wedding card. So here are the completed cards and you can just see how beautiful this is. I just love how these turned out. They're absolutely stunning. And that glitter on that dress is just so, so pretty through that stencil. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.